Hello viewers, welcome to today's class. The channel you're watching is Elimu TV and your teacher today is Rojak Michira. Ready to take you through our CRE, our CRE topic of today. Now, what are we discussing today? We're getting to the Holy Spirit and as we get deeper, we get to look at the lessons Christians learn from leadership of Peter. Remember, we did say that Peter was one of the courageous uh, disciples of Jesus, right? Now, what do, what can Christians get to learn from leadership of Peter? Now, class, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We do expect that we are able to state the lessons Christians learn from the leadership of Peter and also get to discuss the relevance of the Pentecostal experience, right? What is the relevance of the Pentecost? And what are some of the, uh, the leadership qualities Christians can learn from Peter. Now, can you get to look at first the lessons Christians can learn, right, from the leadership of Peter? One, Christians should be courageous and stand up for Jesus all the times. Look at, look at, look at Peter, right? During his trial, during Jesus' trial, right? You remember what Peter did, right? He removed a sword and cut one of the soldiers' ear. Very courageous. Good. Now, that, is, that, that, that was Peter. And now, what, do Christians, what, what can Christians learn from uh, the, the quality, the, 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 the trait of uh, Peter being uh, courageous? Now, Christians should always be courageous and stand up for Jesus. In times of persecution, right, you still declare Jesus as Lord. Good? So, we should be courageous and stand up for Jesus all the times. And also, Christians should be ready to spread the gospel of Christ. Right? Look at Peter, right? And all other, other disciples. Now from Jerusalem, they went to disperse, they dispersed to uh, the various parts. Others went to Samaria, right? Others went to Antioch. Good. Like Philip went to Ethiopia, where, where Philip met the, 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 the Ethiopian eunuch. Good. Now all these disciples started spreading the, the gospel. So as Christians also, we need to be ready to spread the gospel of Christ. And also, Christians should win new converts to Jesus by inviting them to repentance. Remember, during the day of the Pentecost, what did Peter do? Right? After explaining to the people that the disciples are not drunk, it is just that they have received the gift of the Holy Spirit. Now, Peter invited those on Lucas for repentance. And, uh, and Peter baptized over 3,000 converts. Now, Christians should also have faith in the risen Christ. Remember, when Jesus told them that I am going to send you an helper, the disciples had trust, they had faith. That is why they had to go and assemble in Jerusalem, awaiting for the gift of the Holy Spirit as promised by Jesus. And also, Christians should pray to be filled with the Holy Spirit, like Peter and those in church leadership. Look at that. Remember, in, 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 in Jerusalem, these disciples were not just seated. They were not asleep, now waiting for the Holy Spirit. No. They were in prayer, right? They were praying. You can't just sit and wait for the Holy Spirit. You must pray for it, right? So Christians also should be prayerful. Right? For us to be filled by the Holy Spirit. And also, those in, in, in church leadership, they should take their roles seriously. Now that we have looked at the relevance of the Pentecostal experience, we can need to look at, uh, now that we have looked at the, the, the lessons learned from the leadership qualities of, uh, of, of Peter, can you get to look at the relevance of the Pentecostal experience? Now, speaking diverse tongues signify that Christians. Christianity is a universal religion. Christianity does not belong to a certain group of people, right? That is why we have Christians in, 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 in Rome, right? We have Christians in North America. We have Christians in South America, right? We have Christians in Croatia, in South Africa, in Kenya, in Somalia. Christianity is a diverse and, and a universal religion. And also... It, it's, it's, pointed out, it, it, it's pointed out the importance of all languages when communicating to God. It doesn't matter the kind of language you're communicating to God. 
you can speak in Spanish, you can speak in French, you can speak in Somali, you can speak in English, you can talk to God in Kiswahili, you can talk to God in Maasai. So the importance of all languages when communicating to God is vital, is also revealed in the Pentecostal experience because the disciples were talking in different languages that were not even understood by the onlookers. There were no specific languages for speaking with God as it was the Latin, as, as Latin was the language of literacy and Christianity. So there is no sp specific language. Remember, during that time, the Jews spoke Latin. That was the, the, the language of, uh, of literacy and Christianity. The language of writing and also speaking, it was Latin, right? But look here, now the Holy Spirit, the disciples were speaking in different languages. So we can get to know that there is no specific language when you are talking to God. Another relevance also, Christians should be bold in their preaching. Hey, look at Peter. Peter, when the, 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 the onlookers had started accusing the disciples of being drunk, Peter was bold enough. He stood up. He told them, no, they are not drunk. It is just that they are filled by the Holy Spirit. Now, Christians should also understand that God chooses anyone as a leader, a preacher, and a witness of Christ. Peter was chosen from among those other, other disciples, so God can choose anyone. And finally, Pentecostal experience signifies that Christians need to receive the Holy Spirit, need, or rather need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. In the Pentecostal experience, right, Christians need to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Now, because of time class, we have a task there. What are the leadership qualities that can be drawn from Peter? And for a reference, get to use the reference on our screen. And as always, this is a Lim TV, your favorite learning channel. And this was your teacher, Rodham Shear. Thank you all for attending my class. Bye-bye, and let us meet in the next class.